Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I know we're in the middle of Future Stars, but that is not the topic of choice for today. Future Stars promo has kind of been put on the back burner for a bit. We need to talk about some information that we got today uh, on this game about upcoming cards and upcoming promos in this game with Prime Icon Moments. Yes, we today got images for all of the Prime Icon Moment players that are going to be added to the game. This happened last year around this time when they put the Prime Icon Moments in the game. A couple days before, we actually had pictures of their in-game, uh, you know, their, basically their dynamic images. They were added to the code, people found them, and that happened today. So we're going to look at those today. We're going to talk about what that means for the market, when we could see this coming, talking about all sorts of that stuff related to icons because the market is still pretty high in my opinion at the moment and i want to just talk about icons in general because we are in a totally different position with icons right now this year than where we were at last year and it's very very interesting and i, I want to look at the pitch notes and talk about some of these icon movements because this almost looks like it could be coming on friday instead of what i originally thought was going to be a week from friday or basically two weeks i had originally thought this was going to be coming out uh, not on like the 15th or 14th to 15th, but actually on like the 21st, but it looks like now it might be coming out this weekend if those images have been added to the code. So we're going to take a look through here. We're going to look through a few, just a few, not a ton, just a few of these dynamic images. Scroll through this list. If you want to see this list, it's an IMGUR Imgur link. I'm going to post that in the description to this video so you can scroll through all the images if you want to. I just want to show you guys a few of these this year we're going to look at the pitch notes again every single icon in fifa 20 is getting a moments version last year only a few of them did uh this year it's going to be everybody there's luis hernandez there's garincha uh over mars with the cool one desai van basten and as you can tell right away this van basten is a different image than what he had last year on his card and foot so these the ones that were we had in foot last year in fifa 19 some of them are going to be different than they were last year as well. Maldini, that's a, definitely a different picture than last year. Clivert, different picture. Vieira, look at that dynamic image of him literally just flexing right there. That's absolutely dope. Uh, so Vieira's getting a new dynamic image. These are gonna be all brand new prime icon moments this year in foot. So um, I wanna look at this again, talk about the time frame, and talk about what these cards uh, mean for the game. Prime icon moments are supposed to come out in February at some point, which again, this line, if you kind of line it up, the middle icons are going out of packs sometime in the, in the middle of this month, right? It's either going to be this Friday or it's going to be next Friday on this game that we're going to have prime icons come prime icon moments in packs. So it will be prime icons and prime moments in packs. And that's it. Base and middle icons will be gone. No longer in packs, as we have known, uh, obviously because the prime or the, the babies have been out of packs for a little bit now. Uh, and the, the, the mids, the primes have been in packs for a couple months. So we are nearing that next stage of icons being released into packs and some of them leaving packs with the primes moments in the mid. So um, that's kind of the situation with these. And I think they talked about it a little bit down here with the moments. Um, this moments version is basically focused on a truly memorable historic performance in the icons career that elevated them to one of the all time greats. So basically, this is like a, an inform or kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a one one performance that um, these icons had, each of these players had that really was a career defining moment for them. Uh, they're going to be in packs throughout February 2020 and the end of foot 20, the highest rated icon version of that icon. All foot 20 icons will receive a moment item. That was something that a lot of people wanted to talk about. And then again, the previously released moment version of FIFA 19 won't necessarily be the same version as FIFA 20. So that's kind of interesting that they are going to be going away with the same moments that we had last year and that we're going to have those this year as well. But I think the most interesting thing that we had to talk about with these is the market price and honestly, just what is going on with these cards in the game. And then after we talk about that for a little bit, uh, actually, what I want to talk about first is how is this going to affect the market, right? If you guys have icons, what is this going to mean for you? Let's say you have middle Vieira, right? You have 88 Vieira in your squad. You have him tradable. You want to know, is this card's price going to take a drop when the moments comes out? To that answer, I say yes. 
these next couple weeks on foot is going to be, you know, we've been in a pretty high market. After Team of the Year, a lot of packs have been opened, a lot of promo packs and stuff like that. We're in kind of a higher market, right? That is going to change in the next few weeks. We have a bunch of big-time SBCs coming out. Holland Player of the Month. We have Neymar Player of the Month possibly coming. We have a mid-icon SBC that could come out any day. And, of course, Prime Icon Moments coming out as well. Some of the high-tier market is going to get shaken up a little bit with all the stuff that is coming. And there's going to be a lot of losing coins, especially with big-time SBCs coming out. There's going to be a lot of people that are losing coins because they're doing SBCs like that Neymar like that Holland, just talking about talking through a few of those things and what I think is going to happen. I think some of these higher tier cards are going to start slipping off a little bit. Now, there's they haven't really dropped that much in the past couple of days. This information about these these moments and the dynamic images for them coming into the code really isn't super public yet. It's starting to get talked about a lot more, but you're really not seeing panic selling on a lot of these cards. I haven't noticed that like at all myself. Some, most cards are about the same price or just down a tiny bit. So if you're really scared about this, which I think I would take notice of this, I think, you know, prime moments are going to be expensive, right? But some of the icons that are already on this game are just so expensive already. I feel like there has to be some sort of a room for a drop. 94 Ronaldinho is 6 million coins. 6 mil for this guy right now. It's just crazy how expensive these cards are. Um, but I think there is plenty of room for them to drop as because the prime icon moments, right? You might sell, let's say you have like, um, who's it? Let's say you have that Vieira again. Let's say if you have middle Vieira, this middle Vieira is 2 million coins, right? You might want to go out and try, um, Makalele's prime moments card, right? Because that might be around two to three mil on the market because his prime card is like what? One, one mil, maybe prime moments. Makalele is two to three million coins. You might want to sell this to go try out that card. Something like that's going to happen on this game. The Prime Moments, again, are going to be very expensive. They're barely going to get packed. That's how it was last year. But I do think it will cause a drop in the price of basically icons across the board. So if you have any icons in your squad and you're really scared about them dropping or you really need the coins, like if, if you have one icon that's tradable, like if you have a Vieira in your team and that's like all of your coins, then maybe I would consider selling and taking those coins. Because again, one other thing you have to think about is that we're in the second half of the the calendar year of FIFA, right? And what happens in that second half of the year? A lot of prices drop. A lot of prices drop down, especially considering that this card's like 3.6, 3.5 mil, and then the other Vieira is like, you know, 2.1, 2.2. That's not as big of a gap as a lot of the other ones. So I think you're going to see some of these prices drop down on the market. It could be a decent time now to get out before we start to see all the panic, all of the new cards come onto the market because you know what happens, right? That's the story of foot. We have new cards coming out every couple weeks that replace a previously, you know, the best item. What was the best item? We have gold cards. Then we have informs. Then we have like team of the group stage. We have team of the year and other promotions. And that just causes all those older cards to drop down in price as people go out and get the new ones. And that, that's kind of, that's going to happen with these prime icon moments a little bit. But again, I do think there's going to be some panic selling headed into either this weekend. I think it's going to kind of start this weekend because it looks like to me that this could be, this promo could be this weekend. It could be starting here in the next few days just because of the, the timing of these images being put out into the code and people being able to see these images um, on Twitter and stuff, which is where I found those. Um, from Foot, Footy Central, by the way, at Footy Central on Twitter, uh, was one who found those. So I want to give him credit for that for sure. Um, but I want to look at these prices now because this is honestly insane. And I want to talk about some of these prices a little bit more as well. Like Prime Ronaldo, Prime Ronaldo right now. Prime Ronaldo right now, 96 R9. This card at the moment, 13 million coins. Do you want to take a look and see how much Prime Ronaldo cost last year in this game? Prime Moments Ronaldo last year on this game was 13 to 15 million coins. And right now we have the same priced card in foot and it's not the Moments version, it's the Prime version. So this is what I'm going back to and this is why I'm, I'm these icon prices are so crazy this year compared to last year in FIFA 19. Paulo Maldini, how much is how much of this guy? Maldini's Moments card, two, what was he, two point something mil? He was really expensive at first, 7 mil, and he dropped down. A lot of the Prime Icon moments, they had price ranges like this. They had super high price ranges. They got packed a bunch. 
and they kind of dropped down or they stayed basically extinct, like we looked at with that prime Ronaldo. But last year was quote unquote, one of the years of inflation, right? Tons of people had coins, tons of prices were higher. But look at this year, man. Prime moments Maldini last year was 2.2, 2.3 mil. What is prime Maldini right now in foot? Prime Maldini right now, it says it's 4 mil. Let me check foot bin because I feel like that's not correct. Prime Maldini 94 on foot bin shows as 4.3 million coins. So this card right now is a 4 million coin card. And you're telling me his moments card last year at this time was 2.3 mil? I think this year is more of a year of inflation than last year in, in terms of icons and like higher tier cards in this market because EA is making these so rare because they haven't had them out in packs all year. And this is what I want to talk about right here. This is the whole point of EA doing what they've been doing this year with icons is to make them more accessible. Read this right here from Yashir Qureshi, our favorite live producer of FIFA Ultimate Team. He says, our goals with icons for foot 20 were crafted as a result to listening to community feedback, monitoring game health, and showing some of the new foot 20 features. With these considerations, we set three goals to communicate as clearly as we can. To be honest, they have clearly communicated what they want to do with icons this year um, through this page right here of pitch notes to encourage a greater variety in squad building. Sure. To improve the accessibility and availability of icons throughout foot 20. They're going to look at this and say, oh, we've done that through icon swaps. We have made icons way more accessible to the, to the player on foot through icon swaps. Are they wrong with that? No, they're really not. They have made some icons more accessible through this icon swap mode and method this year through these objectives, right? But if you're not getting an icon through icon swaps, then you have to have millions of coins, especially if you want a top tier icon. Because the way they've done these with these cards being very rare on the market and not being packed a bunch and only being in packs for portions of the year just makes them more rare. These are icons. They barely get packed anyway. And now these, these cards have only been in packs for two months. There's barely any supply for most of these prime icons. And now you're telling me that these cards are going to be replaced with even higher versions? And right now, our prime Ronaldo, prime R9, is 15 million coins, 13 to 15 mil on the market. And that's what this this guy's prime moments card costed last year. It's honestly baffling. I don't think they've made icons more accessible to most people in this game. Only the people that can stand playing the gameplay through the laggy servers, through disconnects. Like, look at the servers tonight, man. I'm, having strugg I'm struggling on the servers today, comparing prices. I'm trying to not click into any cards right now because it is awful. Slow loading times, getting the spinny circle at the bottom. It's a pain, right? So... I'm just at a loss. I'm really curious to see what happens with this promo because I feel like the icon prices have to drop because nobody else is going to be able to afford icons otherwise, right? People are going to be selling their primes to try to go and get these prime moments, which are going to be like dinosaurs extinct on the market when they come out because they have cool dynamic images and cool stat upgrades, right? But I don't know, man. So that's why I'm saying for a lot of you guys, I think I would take the coins on a lot of these cards. I think there's a potential to for these card prices to drop. I almost feel like EA has to do something different or else these cards are never going to be seen on the market. The way that these prime icons look right now in foot, like look at Eusebio, for example. Here's another one. Eusebio's prime icon moments card last year was five to six million coins. Five to six mil for Eusebio's prime. What is, or for his prime moments, what is Eusebio's prime version? This card right here, what is he this year? According to Footbin, he's seven, he was 7 mil during Team of the Year. He's now 8 million coins for this card. Again, if we look at generations, I guess we can't. We have to go back here to uh, players, FIFA 19. And we'll look at his prime icon moments version because this, this one baffles me big time. This one baffles me big time. Eusebio was a beast in last year's game. And people, some people called this Eusebio like one of the best cards in foot or the best card in foot last year. And he was six, he, he, he was at 10 mil. He was from nine, he dropped down to six million coins in a month after being in packs, dropped to six mil, dropped to five mil. But still, five million coins for this card. And right now, the one that we have on FIFA 20 is a version that is not the best. And it's still eight million coins, which is ridiculous. So 
I feel like a lot of these cards just have to drop and we're really gonna get a good reading on how much supply these prime icon moments have. There's one listed up for 8.5 right there, Eusebio. We're really gonna get a good feeling on how much supply these have. And you know what, boys? I think there are coins in this market. I think there are people. If people are willing to pay, and this is again, part of like the inflation for icons this year. If people are willing to pay 13 million for a prime R9 Ronaldo, how much are they going to pay for the prime moments? I think you're going to see icons that sell on this game and on this market for 20 million coins. Crazy, right? And that obviously draws a lot of people away from this game. A lot of people that are like, yo, this, pro this promotion doesn't affect me at all. Even though it doesn't affect you, it doesn't even affect me, to be honest. Some of these, some of the prime icon moments, like the cheapest ones, from last year were like three, 400,000 coins. Now there's gonna be some of those prime icon moments. Like I, I used the, the example earlier today of Deco. Prime Deco, how much is he? This is the type of prime card. Here's another example, the server's being slow. Look at how long it's taking me to search for a prime Deco. There's probably like 15 cards on the entire market for this guy. All of these prime decos right here, he's 340, 350,000 coins. This guy gets a prime moments. It's probably no, no more than like three, it's like 400 K. That's honestly where I would expect a prime moments deco to be after a couple of weeks of it being on the market. So there's going to be some prime moments cards that are going to be available to a lot of people, but it's not going to be the Vieira. It's not going to be, you know, the Eusebio, the Hullet and stuff like that. Those prices are going to be just through the roof, but still, um, you know, if this does, if you feel like this doesn't affect you, it still kind of does because it's a whole market movement and a market trend thing. Now, the SBCs that are upcoming, like a mid icon SBC, that might affect somebody else in this game more than what the prime icon moments would. But I wanted to talk about the prime icon moments today because there's just, I have so many opinions about this, man. I have so many opinions about this. The thing that really, the thing that really gets me again is the fact that EA said that they are going to be making icons more accessible and available to players on foot 20 and they are doing the exact opposite of that by not allowing these cards to be in packs for the full year because icons barely get packed anyway right and now they're only in packs for a certain amount of time of the year just makes them even more and more rare in my opinion so a little bit more about these icon price movements to end the video if you guys are knowing if i have icons what do i do with them i think that i would sell in preparation for this weekend because when that mid icon spc does come you're going to see panic selling across the market on all sorts of icons because people are going to go out and do that spc it's new content it's something people have been looking forward to, to for a long time uh, and you're probably going to see dropping on icons all over the place in packs or out of packs Prime, middle, baby, all of them. You're going to see a little bit of panic selling. And then what are you going to see after that? Basically, anything that gets panic sold that is icon wise, like an icon that gets panic sold, you're probably going to see a rebound once the prime moments are actually coming out into the game because these cards, nobody's going to be able to afford them first day. Hullet and R9 last year were extinct for multiple like weeks before they even showed up and stayed on the market because people were like insta sniping them at 15 million coins just to have a chance to play with them in the game, which is crazy, crazy to think about. But there should be a panic sell as these cards are supposed to come out as the prime moments are coming out. Everybody's excited for them. There will be a rebound after that. So my suggestion for you guys would be sell those icon cards before we get those that mid icon SBC before we get the prime icon moments, and then you can buy them back after or during that panic selling time is coming out right when those prime moments get dropped you know make sure that they're not doing anything crazy with moments that like they somehow increase their pack weight or something that would be a problem um but we'll just kind of tackle that when the promotion actually does come out so those are my thoughts on prime icon moments again i'll post the link to all of those dynamic images in the description so you can view that and if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate foot accountant catch you guys later peace